Wait, wait, wait. You like the design of this car? Can you afford it? Well, go in and buy it. Roll clip. Hey guys, it's Paul again for Test Drive PH. So, beside me is the Shangan Unity. I've been waiting for this for so long and I'm so happy that it's here now. So, we've had this for the last couple of days and I'm happy to report that it delivers at all fronts. So, the Shangan Unity is a five-seater crossover that is priced at 1,679,000 and it offers supercar looks, a premium interior, and decent practicality. Starting with the engine, the Shangan Unity has a 1.5 turbocharged four-cylinder engine. This produces 177 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. The Shangan Unity has a seven-speed dual clutch transmission and the usual driving modes such as Eco, Normal, and Sport. Fuel consumption ratings are at 10 kilometers per liter in the city and 14 kilometers uh, per liter on the highway. So let's start with exterior. Well, it's pretty obvious. There's nothing quite like it on the road. It's obviously been influenced by a lot of the European cars. So what we have here is your daytime running lamps. This is your LED. Of course, the uh, center of attention is this uh, grill that they have. Totally different from what you see on the road. But when you try to research on the design of Shang'an, uh, for example, in China, this is actually kind of on the middle ground because Shang'an has done really, really well with the design. I do love the design of the CS35, the CS55, but you have to check Jay Walker's video where they visit the plant, where they see the, the upcoming designs that Shang'an has. So for me, this Unity is kind of like a preview of what the uh, Shang'an design will be and what a design it is. So continue with the tour of the Shang'an Unity. On the side, we find 20 inch tires with a combination of continental tires and 20 inch wheels. Ground clearance is that on the screen. <laughs> and then uh, I love the silhouette of the car. This has, uh, the height of it is actually I think it's just under or just a little over five feet. So it's a bit lower than most crossovers. It does have a quite a few fancy tricks, like for example, this hidden door handles. So here's a really cool detail of the Shang'an Unity's build. So what we have here is this bulbous, kind of like uh, hips of the uh, Shang'an Unity. If you see here, the uh, seamless curves that they have here, and it's uh, it's beautiful. It's one of the character lines of this uh, of this uh, unity. It definitely is part of its uh, personality, where it's uh, it looks sexy, it looks macho, all at the same time, and it works. This is one of my favorite parts of the car, actually, because uh, you know years ago you could never imagine something like this, but again, here it is. Finally, let's take a look at the rear of the Shang'an Unity. Some people actually prefer this side of the car. I like it as well. So what we have here is uh, you have a two-fin design for the uh, um, spoiler here. You have a black tile roof, just like I said. The tail lamps actually really look good at night. You have the Unity logo. You have your diffuser here. And you have a quad exhaust tips, which are real. And then, uh, of course, for the Shang'an Unity, you have the power tailgate. The Shang'an Unity is available in white, silver, blue, gray, and black color. Practicality-wise, the Shang'an Unity only has about 40 by 20 inches of cargo space. 
with the second row seats being able to be totally flat plus you have a donut spare tire so here we are at the uh, the back at the rear passenger side of the Shangan Unity so one thing that I've noticed is the seats here aren't very high so I think if you have very long legs or you're quite tall um, you may have trouble with your uh, leg room here um, I'm only about five six tall so and uh, I would expect that yeah if you're quite tall that may be an issue you do have uh, one USB port there that's not too bad then you have uh, only have uh, one rear air vent at the back of course you have your um, armrest with two cup holders other features of the Shangan Unity are an electric parking brake with hold function leather seats and a combination of polished chrome with red stitching all throughout the cabin a full electronic adjustable seat for the driver a flat bottom steering wheel with full media controls it's got a wireless charger in front a panoramic glass roof a 10 inch infotainment screen with apple carplay and a very nice very very clear 360 degree camera with recording the Shangan Unity has a self-parking and key remote valley parking feature. Finally, the Shangan Unity has adapted cruise control, rear cross-traffic alert with lane keep assist, lane departure warning, with forward and rear collision warning. Okay, let me tell you some comments of uh, um, the passengers. Like, for example, my wife. My wife actually quite uh, <laughs> loves this car. Mostly because uh, she says it's fairly comfy for her. Um, the ride is, uh, um, you could say it's firm, but um, if you do have like 20 inch wheels, you kind of expect that to be a little bit firmer than usual, but it's perfectly tolerable. It's not, it's not something that I would even notice because uh, again, you have 20 inch wheels, eh? so you have to, uh, you know, again, uh, beauty, um, there's a price for beauty and the ride, but the ride itself is considering those sort of tires, that's those 20 inch tires with those continental tires. I think it's, it's very good. Then cornering wise, I think it's, uh, it's very, very good. Much like the CS55, the Shangan CS55 plus, um, it hugs the corners really well. There's plenty of feedback from the steering wheel. Then the, the materials here on the steering wheel is, uh, it's not the, um, it may not be the uh, softest, but um, for me as a driver, I'm fine with it. A little bit on the hard side is fine. And then for my kids, for example, um, they're fairly okay with it. Again, the, the, the seats isn't exactly for comfort. So they kind of hug you. So kind of depends on the, <laughs> on the shape of that person. If they're really, um, you know, suited to that sort of thing. And then what else? Uh, okay. Another sort of uh, something that could be improved from the, uh, the Shangan Unity and probably the, pre, the, next, the next version would be the ADAS. I haven't really tested it as much, but the, the thing is, I didn't really, didn't really enjoy it. Like, for example, the, um, during bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, the... Uh, the, the, saf the safety systems are just way, way too um, um, sensitive to the point that it's pretty noisy. For example, if you're just uh, in traffic and then you have a lot of motorcycles, a lot of cars on the side of you, even when you're in a drive through the car is just getting going all crazy with blaring alarms and stuff like that. So that's kind of, uh, that's kind of annoying. Uh, it's too bad you can't turn it off. But uh, I guess that's the name of the safety. So I do hope that Shangan sort of improves on that, on uh, maybe on an update or maybe on their next car. And then um, I think one of the biggest, uh, I think one of the biggest issues with this car is obviously the price. At almost 1.7 million, is uh, it's quite a premium. So, you know, um, for me, is it worth it? I think it's worth it if, for example, you're looking for a fun-to-drive car and um, this is like your second car and your your family's not too big 
and you're fine with uh, carrying not too much luggage, I think you'll be you'll be able to enjoy this. If uh, your primary concern is driving and, uh, well, the looks, <laughs> there's no denying, this thing looks awesome. And uh, for me, just like a lot of the uh, Shang'an designs is, I think they designed that really, really well to the point that I think it's going to, I'm fairly confident that this sort of design will age really well. For example, if you're looking for a, uh, a sporty and really awesome looking crossover, I think uh, there's uh, there's not a lot of choices. I mean, there are the the less expensive ones, but nothing like this. Nothing like uh, nothing that looks like this. Nothing like uh, that has a concept car, super car looks that it, uh, that this car has. It, um, yeah, um, I'm absolutely in love with uh, with the whole car here. It may not be the perfect car. But I think if you can afford it, I would definitely recommend it that you go for it. And um, again, I know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of naysayers out there. And I'm going to keep fighting you. I'm going to keep fighting you because even though that this is a Chinese car, I'm very, very confident of the, for example, of the, uh, the company that's backing the Inchcape, Inchcape that uh, is backing up the uh, the Shang'an these days and uh, they have a new president and the people behind it are you know really really focused on uh, customer service on after sales service so for me I think it's just going to get better and um, I'm fairly confident that uh, for example if you are going to buy this that I think you'll be fine I think you'll be fine so this is the sort of car for a man or a woman who has taste who has style and uh, doesn't want to blend in so there you have it guys the review of the shangan unity thank you so much to shangan here and c5 for lending me this car and uh, i'll be leaving their contact details on the description below make sure that you visit them they have uh, their new showroom is being built right now so i'm excited to see that so again this is paul again for uh, test drive ph see you on the next video bye for now